YouTube. It is day four of Vlogmas. Babe, what time is it right now? It's almost 11. It's almost 11 a.m. And today. I'm still in my pajama shirt, still in bed. And I mean, I've done a little bit of work in bed, but I haven't like gotten up, gotten ready for the day. Didn't go to the gym, haven't eaten breakfast yet. And that's okay. It's totally okay, because normally I go hard and do a lot of a lot of work and wake up early and I'm like on point 99% of the time. So I felt like last night I just needed some time, some downtime and some rest. So I am taking that time for myself today and i am about to get on my computer and answer some posts in the love yourself support group for my self-love ebook so yesterday was the last day for the early bird discount of 15 dollars but if you use the code happy you can still get it for 15 dollars for today only and today when you'll be watching this it will be the 5th of december so through the end of today, you can get $5 off by using the code HAPPY when you check out. And I'll put the link down in the description below. So I am going to start getting ready for the day, make myself a smoothie bowl, and I will talk to you soon. Okay guys, so in addition to me showing you how I make my banana ice cream, I just wanna show you this homemade little pizza that Addison made because I think it's important. In addition to showing you raw vegan recipes, I'd also like to show you some cooked ones. So Addison just made this pizza on a store-bought wrap. You can also use a flatbread for this and the ingredients are actually really quite simple. So he's gonna share those with you now. It's made with cashew cheese, onions and tomatoes and basil. The cashew cheese is cashews, lemon, a bit of garlic, and salt. Okay, now it's time for the banana ice cream tutorial. So right here I have a bowl of frozen bananas, a couple of mangoes. I actually only use one of them. I have this green powder to get in some awesome vitamins and minerals. And then I also have a Vitamix blender here with the part um, with like the stir tool. And then I have some raw organic garden of life protein. So first thing is putting in the frozen bananas and I let those thaw out for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I'm also just gonna put in a little dash of this green powder and between half a scoop and one full scoop of this raw protein powder, which is totally optional, not necessary. I personally just really like the flavor of it. And this is it. So now it's time to turn the blender on and start going with it. So depending on how mushy your bananas are, um, this will kind of determine how much you can actually blend without using the stirring tool. So as I said, I let mine sit out for 10 or 15 minutes. I could only blend for like a couple of seconds without the blender kind of stalling. So now I'm putting in the stirring tool and I'm just gonna blend that up. And I'm not using the high speed, I'm kind of just using one of the lower speeds on the blender. And it just takes a couple of seconds to get this going. And now, like you can see, you don't need the stirring tool at the very end because it is just blending smoothly. So next thing I'm doing is cutting up the mango and you can use whatever fruit you wish to top your banana ice cream off with. You don't even need to use fruit if you wanted to do a more chocolatey flavor, but I have these mangoes out and I want to use them up. So I am just dicing them into really, really small pieces. And now I'm just scooping the ice cream out of the blender. I try and do this right away so that it doesn't have any time to melt. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some shredded coconut flakes on top and a little bit of this raw granola, which is by a brand that I recently started using called Go Raw. This is the apple cinnamon flavor. So that is how I make my banana ice cream. That's all it takes to make this delicious meal. Um, and I definitely recommend using a Vitamix blender or a food processor also works really really well hey guys what's up it is around 8 p.m. right now I'm just giving you a little update on the rest of my day so as I was 
Finishing up my smoothie bowl, starting to edit that footage, um, this little tiny piece came off of my SD card, so I was in, unable to record the rest of today's footage, um, but Addison and I went through my Appalachian Trail gear list, bought a couple of items, so they are on their way which is exciting because I will be sharing those items with you in my next AT through hike prep video. And then we went out to dinner, I got a salad, and now it is time to wind down and finish this video and get to bed early because I'm gonna hit up the gym in the morning. So um, I'm borrowing Addison's little smaller SD card. I'm gonna get up early and get a new one tomorrow because I cannot miss a day of vlogmas. Um, what's something else I wanted to share with you? Oh yeah, if you are interested in getting my self-love ebook, definitely use the code HAPPY for $5 off. I'll put the info down in the description below. And I feel like there's something else I needed to tell you, but I can't think of it at the moment been a long day I'm tired um, oh yeah thank you for watching this video and if you enjoy the um, banana ice cream tutorial or like recipe tutorials in general give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know that you would like to see more of those I will definitely get some more of those if a lot of you guys like that um all right I have a really exciting video planned for you tomorrow I'm not gonna give it away yet so you'll have to wait until that one's up. I hope that you have an awesome morning or day or evening and I will see you tomorrow.